All right, hey everybody. Sorry, I'm pretty dang late tonight. It's gonna be a shorter stream. Um, I just got Dark Souls started up. I'm just gonna close some processes just to try to take some of the load off my computer. Make as little chance of things being laggy as possible. Uh, sure. Can shut off a bunch of these. Sorry, I usually would have done this before I started the stream, but I was not really thinking when I started the stream. I just hit the button, and then I realized that there's still a bunch of things that I hadn't done yet to prepare. So, okay, now I think we should be good. Uh, let's switch to the scene here and get into Dark Souls. I was originally planning on playing Isaac tonight, but I didn't feel like I played enough Dark Souls last night to scratch the itch. Oh, we got some lag. Been having some lag problems since yesterday. Don't know what's up with that, but you know, it's Dark Souls 1. It's kind of just how it is. It's how it was hit do so much damage. Um, yeah, I wanted to play some more Dark Souls, and I figure if I only play like every other day, then it's going to take me like a year to finish all three games, so I think it's fine if I play a little bit more Dark Souls than I do of Isaac. Okay. Oh, we're toxic. I was not paying attention enough to their health. And now I have been toxic. Great. These frames are pretty annoying. I don't know. See, it's hard to tell, like, I don't think I was lagging like this before, but it's, it's always hard to remember, like, did I ever have points of lag like this? I really can't say for sure whether I did or didn't. Enemies don't feel quite okay. Almost got destroyed there. The enemies don't feel quite as annoying as they did last night. I guess I was probably just a little bit more tired. The toxic is still very annoying, don't get me wrong. But I think I'm handling them a little bit better now. Got my brain a little bit more. I don't know, in the zone, I guess. Feeling good. Well, I am actually pretty tired, but... You know. I'm always tired to some extent. Pretty much my default state of being. Gotta go down there. We could... Drop down there. That'd be a decent fall, though. I actually don't even know if we'd survive that. Oh, it's Mr. B Mr. Birdfriend. I can just keep you stun locked. I don't need to fight you. Did they die? Do birds take fall damage? And I guess in real life they do. You know, they can fall and get hurt, but they can also fly, so that's kind of an awkward situation.
We got some souls. Oh, there's another one. Just knock them off. Yeah. Oh, they see one de dead down there. They splatted on the ground. Okay. Oh, that's just an actual bird. So... No more bird people. What is this? Oh, there's a bird person there. Red sign soapstorm. Is that for invading people? I would have thought that you'd get that earlier in the game. Oh my god, the frames are gonna kill me. The toxic is gonna kill me first, actually. Oh my god, I'm gonna pop up. The freaking this thing. It's kind of a waste to pop it at this point when it's already taking so much of my health, but. I didn't think it would last so long. I really don't know if I can fall from this height and survive. I do not know. Oh, I'll pop a humanity, I guess. Scared. Okay, it hurt, but we're alive. And we have this. I remember this. Let me equip a firebomb. I feel like that's gonna be good for this. The old blob. Blobs are usually weak to fire. Where the heck is it? Did I use all my. No. I didn't use all my freaking... No. Where is my... There. Why are they not showing up under my... Options? What the heck is that? Oh, okay. That's kind of weird. I don't like that. Ow. Okay, well, they throw spears, I guess. That's cool. Didn't remember that they threw spears. I thought they just kind of slithered towards you and poked at you, but... No, they're, uh... They're throwing... Somehow they use those little gooey limbs of theirs to throw... Entire spears at you. Okay, let's not get toxic this time because I have no way to heal it at all. Except for like a divine blessing, but I don't want to use those. Oh my god. Get a freaking hobby, Hollows. Come on. Stop just standing around and waiting for somebody that you can attack. There are other things to do in life. Oh, that's a waste of a firebomb. Joking with that? That parry didn't count somehow? Maybe I missed time, but I'm not exactly sure, honestly. It kind of looked like it was just. It got screwed up from the, the distance. But I could have just screwed it up.
That one's really trying to hit me with the fireballs. It is persistent. Oh, okay, and it's getting closer. No toxic yet. I've had to use two flasks though. Not ideal. This bird's gonna come for us. We can back up a little bit. No. Oh my god. Okay. That was scary because that flying attack they do, if it hits, can do so much freaking damage. Like an insane amount of damage. Ow. Wonder if I could just kind of run around them. I think DS Fix definitely screwed up my freaking frames, dude. I don't know what what happened, but I think it's gotten screwed up. I'm gonna have to fiddle with my DS Fix settings later because something is not right. It's a nice lag like this. I don't think. You know, let's just have them come in uh, one at a time, I guess. See how that works out for us. They are coming. Just very slowly. I feel like this is probably not a good idea. I feel like they're probably just going to trap me. I'm going to get screwed. They're very slow though. Just a lot of them. Okay. Screw you. Those spears, oh my god. They do like a third of my health. No, don't waste your last firebomb, you doofus. I don't know what my strategy is here. You know, just let them lose aggro. Maybe that'll maybe that'll work. I'll just hang out in here for some amount of time, and surely they will not. Stay aggro forever. They are going away. Going back into their circle. I still don't know what to do when they're in that circle. Um, I haven't figured that part out. Oh, of course, lock by some contraption. That's great. I was just hoping to, you know, be able to open a door for once. But, you know, of course, it's got to be locked by something or other. There's so many of them. Oh 
my god. Is this the doors to the bonfire area? I really hope. Okay, it is. Thank god. Let's get a level up here. Uh, do dexterity. That's fine. Oh, we can level up again. Hold no, wait, hold on. Uh, we'll do vitality. Could always use more of that, unless you're just a god at Dark Souls, and then you really don't need much of that. Not sure how we're gonna deal with these, this, whatever this is. Really have not figured it out. Let's just give this a try. That worked out pretty well. Lock on is just incredible. Why is that just doing no damage? I'm hitting him directly. I guess I'm hitting his shield, I don't know. Okay. Gotta avoid the shield. I'm just hoping that they will not respawn once I've killed them all. That's really all I care about. Okay, I see they'll turn in a direction and then they'll stay turned in that direction for a while. Gives them pretty open. Oh, they cornered me a little bit. But I got a lot more mobility than they do. Is that the last one? I think it is. I don't actually know if I even killed these guys first time I've been through the game. This might be the first time I've ever killed them. It was actually not as difficult as I thought it was going to be after the beating they gave me at first. That's pretty rough. I do hope that they don't respawn though. That would be, be pretty annoying. What is this ring? Oh, okay, that's that one. The ring that nobody ever uses because they don't want to waste it, but then they waste it anyway because they never use it. And that well goes down to where the bone wheels are. So gross. These frames are just incredible. Thank you DS Fix for somehow making my game laggier. That's probably my fault. I probably screwed up something in the settings. So I will never take accountability for that. This 
probably a shortcut that I can come through later. Alright, now we did all that, let me take a quick water break. Okay, I just realized there are like birds picking at these bodies. Can I scare them away by no? Okay, they are very persistent in their their scavenging. Uh no, we can check out this building, can't we? Yeah. Don't wanna go down into that well yet. What is this? Oh, okay, I think this is actually the entrance, maybe a different entrance to the, uh, the bone zone. Oh, I'm getting ambushed. And we'll get on this hole and probably die to the bone wheels because they do a ton of damage. Yeah, I don't know where they're going to come from. Oh, there they are. Yeah. Yeah. At least they don't have a lot of health, but they pretty much killed me with a couple hits. That's cool. I'm gonna nail you. Oh my god. No, there were multiple. I looked around all over the place, and I did not see them. Where were they hiding? They were hiding, I guess, somewhere that I could not see. It looks like... can't tell if those guys respawned or not. Okay, they definitely did. That's not great. I really would prefer if they didn't. Makes traversing this area a little bit trickier. But they are very slow. It's not... A huge deal. There's the other one. Okay, relax, buddy. Where are the others? I know you have buddies. Your buddies got me last time, but I guess they didn't come this time. Don't know where they are. Oh. Yep, I saw movement.
Oh, there's three more. There's actually three more. I think. Maybe I was just seeing a dead one. I don't know. But if I did see another one, there's only one left now, I think. Didn't give me too much trouble. Oh, there's another one. Of course. How could I have been so foolish to think they would not give me much trouble? Probably still more. I'm sure. I'm gonna pick up that item and get destroyed by like five of them. Or not. What is this? We have a maze. Oh, we have a, a bone, a bone wheel maze. A bone wheel maze. This is what we're doing now. This is what we're doing now. That's cool. I'd rather just not do that. Okay. through your stamina so fast when they hit your shield man they hit you like 10 times a second shield does not appreciate it I don't like that little alley that's that scares me the annex key I don't know what that is I'm guessing it's important or something don't know. Oh, hello. What's up with you? Oh my god. They knew what they were doing. They made that one hit so that you wouldn't be expecting and you get toxic. Those evil geniuses. Oh my god. At least they had to, they had to put it at the end of the maze, but... I should check out these other hallways. Not that I think there's going to be anything important here, but... Oh, there's actually a ladder. Oh, this is the well. Oh, so you could... If you wanted, you could come straight down into the, uh... The bone wheel maze. That's fantastic. Alright, let's get out of here and... Go use these levels before I die.
Now we gotta figure out whatever this annex key is for. Maybe it's that church looking area on the side with the door we can't open. Though it says locked by some contraption, doesn't it? Maybe it just says locked, I can't remember. We'll, we'll check. No reason not to check any door. What is this area? This is like a whole other thing. Oh, I didn't level up. I should do that. Sorry, I just wasted some time fighting hollows, but I forgot to level up. Let's do that. Is strength even like worth it? It would increase our damage by like a small amount, but we'll just keep on going. Well, Dex will also. Well, let me compare. Now Dex improves our damage more, so yeah. Let's prepare our equipment while we're here, I guess. Those bone wheels might have done some damage. And I got the soul to spend it anyway. Okay. Now we can check out this area on the side. Do a little bit of exploring. I don't know if I ever checked down here when I first played through this, this area. If I did, I probably just don't remember it. There's a lot of things that I have not remembered. Some pyromancies. I've never done pyromancy. I'll probably... Sometime when I replay Dark Souls 1 or... Whatever, I'll probably try out Pyromancy, but you know pretty much nothing about that at this point. Poor Hollow's getting killed all over the place. A lot of souls. A lot of proud knights. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know what the lore is. I need to study up. I don't mean it to actually watch lore videos to catch up because I really am not all that knowledgeable, but I have not gotten to it yet. A large soul for proud knight. A whole lot of souls here. That'll be good for leveling up later. Now we can check out that door, see if it's unlocked by the annex key. Yes, okay. So I guess now we're in the annex. Let's see what's in here. Not a big fan of what I'm seeing from the annex so far. Bye bye. Don't gotta worry about your toxic if I just knock you off a thousand foot drop. Are you... Are you kidding?
Oh my god. Okay, this area is kind of sucks. A lot of toxic enemies. And a bird. I don't like either of those. Why does that look like Andre? Is it just me or does this look like- oh that's a bird. Is it just me or does this look like Andre? It's got like the, the beard and like the ponytail. Oh, I got the dark ember, so it must be I mean, it's something related to Andre. Because it's an ember, just like for blacksmithing. So that's. That's something. And we're slowly dying from toxic. As you do. Guess we'll keep exploring this area though while we're still alive. A little bit of a secret here. Oh, we got Belka's Rapier, I think. Ow. I think that's actually like a popular weapon. I think. Let's check it out. Now's not, now's not the time to check it out. We're dying of toxic. Let's just. Let's try to get a little bit more knowledge of this area. And then, then we can check out new weapons later. I think that's a good plan. Of course. Oh. Two birds. I want to make a pun. But I also really just don't want to fight these enemies. No, I'm gonna get out. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the bonfire. Get my toxic cured and get my after flasks back and go back into that annex with my new knowledge of how annoying the enemies are can't level up right okay no a little bit off we probably could if we just kill some hollows let's try Yeah, I think we're just gonna kill a couple of these guys. I think we can level up now. And we can check out the rapier. Let's see here. It's probably gonna be up with the swords. Actually seems worse than Ricard's rapier. I don't know what this red button is. Oh, this like damage, I guess. Uh. What what other stats do we need for this? Hold on. Oh, we need what is that? Faith or uh, 
I don't even know. Let's look at three cards though. Three cards, we don't need any of that stuff. I've never been a fan of rapiers though, they just. I like like swinging, like big swings and like. I know rapiers are. They seem to be pretty good. They're pretty popular. But. I don't know, I'll try them eventually probably. Just. Not really my thing all that much. Never been a big fan. I like the look of them, just not how they feel to use. Okay, back into the annex we go. Freaking benches. Now we're going to try to be extra careful about not getting toxic. Though, it's not likely to save us. Oh, we're toxic. Yep. If you're too close, you just get toxic. There's nothing you can really do about it. Hello. I'll just try to kill everything before I die, I guess. Got caught lacking on stamina. Darn it. Yeah, so spacing with these toxic enemies is very important. Because if you are too close to them, when you kill them, even if you roll as soon as you can, you will still get toxic. So you want to try to be at least at some distance away, however much you can manage. I think I can just skip the one who's down this hallway. I think he doesn't really aggro me from this distance. Let's move on up here. They knew. They knew. They were like, you need to roll away from these enemies. To avoid the toxic. So we're going to put one of them right next to a giant hole. I tell you, they're evil geniuses. They know what they're doing. They are masters at planning the best way to kill you. Best way to put benches in your way so that you can't walk past them. Oh, hello, bird. Good job, camera. Great job.
I love the camera. I just love it. Don't know how I aggroed the bird there. I guess it's just I got close enough in it. Can I aggro there? So I gotta be careful of that. Oh yeah, come down here. It's a great idea. Make my life a lot easier. Goodbye. Goodbye. Probably wish you could fly now. Alright, I guess we didn't get toxic, so we're doing good. We'll go here. Oh, this is like the other side of that tower. Oh, we got Velka's armor. Someday I'll brush up on my lore and I'll know who Velka is, and then I'll, I'll be very excited to have her gear, I'm sure. Pretty sure it's a woman. I'm not actually even sure on that. There's a giant freaking dragon on this bridge that we have to get past. That's gonna be difficult. It is a dragon made out of like rotten bodies, though. So. Getting a little bit close. Won't deny that I'm uncomfortable with that. Jeez, they hit hard. What is this souvenir of reprise? What does this do? Souvenir taken for subduing the guilty. The knights called the Blades of the Dark Moon punish the guilt soaked offenders of the gods. The table says, Prove their conquest, the earless corpse of the guilty will be left behind as a warning to others, inspiring both fear and respect for the gods, such as the eternal mandate of the Dark Sun. Interesting. I understood some of those words. Hello, dragon. Oh, that's poison sludge. That killed me instantly. Okay, I'm alive, actually. Please. Oh my god, it leaks down here. Run. I don't know how... I guess to dodge that arm sweep you should probably just... Run away when he's about to do it.
Don't be greedy. Yeah. Okay, I'm picking it up. I'd like to be able to hit him, please. Blow some breath down here. Thank you. Alright, I, I actually understand this boss. Mini boss. Much better than I used to. I used to think he was very hard, but he's actually very manipulatable. If I could actually hit him, that'd be amazing. It'd probably make my life even easier, but, you know, I can't have everything I want. Breathe some breath over here. And he's dead. Nice. Well, it's not too bad. I think there are still some... Is that another one? Is that another dragon? Do I see a second dragon? Uh, I don't know how if I would deal with the second one. That, uh... I don't really have the space. I don't really have a lot of... A lot of space. What is this? What is this? What the heck is this creature? There's a meter building up, I don't know what what that is. I don't know what anything is at this point. I don't know what... I don't know what this is. Am I supposed to understand what this is? It's just a giant mass of flesh. I don't know what's going on. Let's go back here and see if there's something I missed. Oh, you're good, bird. I don't think that is something that I missed. I know there's like you can get on the underside of this bridge. I don't know how you do that. I don't think I can jump it. Doesn't seem like it. I mean, it seems like it could be possible, but it definitely doesn't seem. Hey, respawn by. Sorry, I. I have not checked chat in a while. I don't know how long it's been since you said that, but good to see you. I hope you're doing well. I do not know what I'm doing right now. Hmm. 
Hmm. I try to like walk through you somehow. No. What are you? I'm not doing damage. I think this is like immortal. Uh hmm. Gotta be something I am missing here. Can I get any items that I think I could use? No. Don't think I've gotten anything. I would love to play Elden Ring, unfortunately uh, my computer is not good enough and I don't have a console that can run it, but I'm, I'm planning on doing uh, Dark Souls 2 and then 3, and then hopefully down the line sometime when I have a good enough system I can do Elden Ring, but for now I currently cannot. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but... Still having fun with Dark Souls, it's all good. Maybe there's like a, a lever somewhere that we could flip. Maybe, I don't know. Hey, thank you, man. Thank you for coming in. Hope you have a good night. Good sleep. See ya next time. Uh, yeah, can't go down there. Guess we could try to, like, I don't know. I'm at a loss here. Okay. I was pretty sure we could make that jump, but I wasn't. 100% sure, but we did it. We're alive. Hello. No, we, you don't get to attack before me. That's not how it works. I'm climbing back down. All right. Okay. It went back up, I guess. I'll just explore down here and see if... Oh, there's a... There's a rat. If we get the painting guardian clothes, we can... cosplay as... that annoying bunch. That was close. My dodge didn't come out right away. It doesn't seem like there's anything in here. I guess we'll go and check up top. There's gotta be something that lets us get on that bridge, because I don't think 
jumping down onto it is really feasible. I have so many. I already do have so many souls. We're gonna have even more probably by the end of this. Nice one. Egg vermifuge. I think we use that. I don't actually remember where we use that. I think I have an idea of where to use it though, but. Yeah, I, I don't know. Is there a way to get out of here without... No, I think we have to just go down, drop into that annoying room. Uh, that's, that's a little rough. Still firing arrows. Just very confused. More than anything, I am just confused. Hello. Can I talk to you or anything? I don't think so. Let me try to look at this bridge from both sides for a second. It kind of looks like in some places some of people just like drop off onto the bridge, but it's really hard to tell. I don't like to do this, but I'm looking it up because I have no idea what I'm doing here. And I, I think I've done a pretty good job of figuring things out on my own in this area. Uh, painted World of Ariams. Oh, there is a known glitch at this point where the undead dragon's corpse will mysteriously stay behind at the end of the bridge. Uh, for my jumping attack. Okay. I think that's what's happening here. I, I think this is a glitch. Let me try to jumping attack. I don't think I even know how to do that. That's definitely not what it's telling me to do. I don't. Let's look this up. Dark Souls 
a jump attack. This is something that I've probably been long due for me to learn how to do this. Tap forward and R R T slash R two at the same time. Oh. Okay, I I think I understand. No, I don't. I really don't understand. I have no idea. I might be stupid, but I have no idea. Lightly tap left stick. Okay, this seems a lot more difficult than it should be. I mean, I, the the input seems simple enough. It's just that actually, okay, interesting. Yeah, it's very, very inconsistent. I am doing the same input that I did the first time I got it. And it's just not working. I don't I don't know. Please just get the jumping attack. There we go. Okay, now he's standing up and we can drop onto the bridge. Nice. I don't think we can open this door and get a shortcut in case we die. Oh no. Oh no. Oh please. Got our good old friends, the knights, the easily parryable knight. Okay, well, I say that as he murders me, and now I lose my chance at a shortcut. So that's that's great. It's a little bit annoying. Spent the last like time in this trying to figure out just how to get past that glitched out corpse. I love it. Now I gotta go past the birds and toxic enemies, of course. That's I know what I'm doing now. I gotta be careful of those hollows. There are a ton of them. And they do a lot of damage. Way more than I think they probably should. But Miyazaki had other ideas. He's like, nah. You see, the thing is, we're gonna bring these back these enemies from the beginning of the game. But now they're gonna do ten times more damage because that is how you have fun. Oh, he got me. I'm dead. Oh. Goodbye. 
hate the frickin' birds. Hate them just as much as the first time I ever played this section. The hate has not died. Corpse back. Well, I guess never left. It just sat back down. That's a fun little glitch. If I could actually get a jumping attack, that'd be really nice. There we go. Takes more finesse than I really think it should. Oh, hello. Oh, I deserve that one. Oh, this guy's gonna be a pain. I think maybe I'll just kill him next time. I don't. I don't know. It's hard to tell with enemies like this. He does so much damage, but if I can just get a couple of parries on him and. Find some time to heal, then I should be fine. I think I can probably just run past a lot of these enemies. Probably the bird guys I can run away from, I think. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll test it out. See how things go. Really would make my life a lot easier if I could just, you know, run past them like this. I think we lost them. Alright, that works out pretty well. It's kind of fun. You gotta admit, it's kind of fun. Oh, I thought you were staggering. That's really my bad. I thought you would stagger at some point. That's it's really my fault for believing that. Okay, we took care of him. I hope he will not respawn. I really would uh would prefer if he did not And I get this shortcut now. 
Are more hollows gonna ambush me? I think we're good. Okay. What? What? Is there something I can? What? Oh. How do I unlock this door? Am I missing something? There's gotta be like a, a lever or something somewhere. There's no way that it's not possible to open that door. That's just not possible. Alright, I gotta take a quick drink of water, give me one second. I just refuse to believe this. There's got to be some way to open this dang door. Got to be some sort of lever or button or something. I guess not. I guess you must have to kill the boss to get it open. Don't remember that. Do not remember having to do this run up like this. Maybe it's another case of me having a terrible memory of, of Dark Souls. Guess we'll try it out here. Hello. A plank, you say? Oh, I didn't. You're kidding me. No, I didn't want to actually jump off the plank. I wanted to just look down it. No. Oh my god. That's not what I wanted to do. Darn it. I have to go all the way back there now. Oh my god. Oh, the enemy's gonna be back. Am I gonna have to do all that over again? No, the enemies are still dead. Okay. I'm actually surprised that they're still dead. That's pretty unexpected. I. That's that's tricky. They actually put you into a cutscene as soon as you get close enough to the ledge. I thought you would have uh, just been able to stand there and press a button, but nope. If you get too close, you're going over the ledge. That's probably intended because they figure it all. People are gonna walk to the ledge and just stand there and be indecisive. So we'll just force them into a cutscene where they where the character jumps off the ledge. That'll get him. Hello Mr. Dragon Corpse. Hey 
Alright, now it's actually fighter this time instead of just throwing myself off the ledge. Wonder if you'll have different dialogue this time, now that I actually did it. Oh, that was a lot of damage. Where are you? Okay. It's gonna be tricky. It's gonna be a little bit tricky. I wonder if that respawns the enemies or not. I assume if you actually died, it probably, probably does, but... Yeah, okay. So we might as well get our Estus Flasks back. I really hope it doesn't respawn that big night guy. This run is already long and tedious without having to fight him again. I know this fight's gonna take us at least a couple of tries. I know you're supposed to look for like your footprints in the snow, but I was not seeing them. I was trying to, to look. I guess maybe I was just I'm seeing my own footprints and then taking hers for mine, but I really was not seeing her footprints very much. Or at all, I guess. So I don't know if. if I'm, I'm probably just blind, honestly. Oh, there he is. He spawns in as we come down. That's that's great. I'll just say goodbye to you. I see you. No, I don't. Oh god. Please don't hurt me. Please. Listen, I really would have liked to be friends. But I'm trying to do every boss. And it's just not meant to be. Ow. Okay. I have no idea where you are. Where is she? Oh my god. Okay. My roll button is just not working, which is fantastic.
I'm seeing her footprints now. So she's not really in the place where her footprints just were a lot of the time. This is tough. This is a little bit tough. Pretty sure there's a way to see her even in like the the snow there, but I want to try to beat her without that because I think I can do it. Just getting used to staying away and then going in when I can see the feet prints and stuff. Though, it's hard to say because I have no idea how much damage I'm doing there, so really, I think it would be better if I could, you know, see the health bar. I mean, that's a little bit of a strange design choice. Maybe that's a glitch though, I don't know. Dark Souls 1 is full of glitches. Like this dragon corpse right here. That was just so fantastic. Great job, camera and controller and everything. That was fantastically coordinated. I'm going to look right now and just see if I do want to... I might want to do the thing where I can see her just so I can see how much damage I'm doing her and see... If I'm not doing much damage, then I definitely would want to just fight her normally, but if I'm doing decent damage then I would definitely not mind trying to beat her without being able to see her. If IGN wouldn't have 15,000 ads on their guide, that would be just, that would help me out a lot. It says attack where she would be standing to have her turn visible again. But you must break her poise to make her visible. Okay. Let's rating up on like a general strategy. Okay, well, I'm just gonna try my best. Sad like. I don't even, like, you can run into her and then dodge behind her and then she's going to attack where you were, so then you attack behind and like, I really don't, I'm not a, I'm not very, I don't even know what I'm saying, I, I could not really understand very well. I'm very much a visual learner and so the fact that 
I'm reading text about how to beat an invisible boss. It just really is not cutting it for me. I should learn to keep my shield up on that staircase. Fine, these are the practice runs though. Um, it's gonna take me a couple tries or more to beat Priscilla. I could have sworn that there was a way that you could just see her throughout the whole fight, but I guess I was just wrong. Oh my god. Goodbye. I really hope you'll give me time to heal before I get into this boss. Don't even look behind. Just go. Oh, that's not where she was. Oh, there she is. Okay, we're doing good damage. Okay, now she just stays visible. So... This has made life a lot easier. And she's dead. That was actually very easy. <laughs> I was expecting a lot more of a challenge, but once you just hit her twice, then uh, she just dies. It said to loot the soul be behind. So, uh, I don't see a corpse. Where's that? It must really be blind or something. I don't, I'm not seeing anything. I'm looking this up. One last thing to look up is. Not coming back here, and I don't want to miss it. He do be running. He's uh, he's trying his best. Unfortunately, the laws of the game do not allow him to approach me, but he is still trying. Gotta respect it. Okay, I see. You only get the set if you if you beat an NPC invader beforehand, before you go to the uh, ledge. So I'll just be heading out then. I'll see you later. Would have been right here, but we did not do the NPC invader, and I do not really want to. 
Ah, oh, this isn't great. You know, I've had enough fun with you guys. I think I'll just be taking my leave. Don't want to get ganked and destroyed. That was a nice throw. So our adventures in the painted world are over. I don't know what I want to do next. I think this is a good place on the stream, but I'm just thinking overall, like, what I want to do next time I play Dark Souls. I'll do this run all the way back to the bonfire. You know what I do want to do? I want to go to New Londo because there's a firekeeper soul that we can use to upgrade our Ustus flasks, and there's also the uh, the ember we need to start. Upgrading our axe plus plus ten. So yeah, that's should that's that'll be probably where I go next, just to grab some important items and then see where I want to go from there. And we'll go for. Some more dexterity, just keep up on our damage. Nothing wrong with that. And then might as well repair all our equipment just to so that next time we play, we don't gotta worry about it. Okay. And then I guess we can warp the Firelink Shrine because that is closer to New Londo. So that'll make our lives a little bit easier next time. And trust there and head to the title screen. Alright, pretty good stream. We uh, made it through the Painted World of Ariamis. Uh, it overall was not as difficult as I was, thought it was going to be from... Last night it seemed like it was going to be pretty rough, but the enemies didn't give me too much of a hard time. The dragon corpse was actually harder to deal with when he was already dead than, you know, because his corpse just could only be moved by me jumping and attacking it, which I didn't even know how to do. Uh, and then we beat Priscilla surprisingly quickly. I, I was ready for it to take a bunch of tries, but then after I just got two hits on her then the fight pretty much just became free at that point so yeah it was a it was a pretty good stream um next stream i'm definitely gonna be playing some isaac because you know i do i think it's fine to do a little bit more dark souls than isaac at this point we're trying to get through dark souls and not have it take forever um but yeah i'm definitely gonna be playing some more isaac tomorrow because i do want to get a couple days of Isaac in there per week. So yeah, I'm going to be doing more Teens of Magdalene, that'll be fun. Um, anybody who watched this stream or VOD, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, consider following my Twitch or subscribing to any of my YouTube channels, I have three at this point. Uh, and yeah, thank you all again. Uh, like I said, I'll be live. I think I'll be live tomorrow night. I can't say for sure. Uh, I'd say it's about 50, 50, 60, 40, somewhere around there. So yeah, that's, that's about that. And uh don't think I have anything else to say. Just thank you all again. Hope you all are doing well and I will see you next time.